Hello and welcome to the RF Tools Dimensions Mod Spotlight. So here I am in an interesting looking dimension. We've got some man yelling uh, liquid there. Uh, if you look, take a look under here, you can see, or well, you can already see actually, there's an ocean monument there. Got villages. Uh, if I go a little bit further down, and just go into game mode 3, and see we've also got well it's hard to see but there is an end pool it's not too hard to see I suppose uh, right over there oh yeah that was my um, the night vision potion and also I've also put some effects in as well like um, um, better hurry up because I'm going to have to run out of energy in this power uh, in this dimension rather um, if we take a look at what I've got in this dimension, um, you can see I've got mining speed. Uh, you can see actually speed and haste I've got, and that's constantly refreshing. Um, and it's a pretty cool dimension, um, but I better get out of it because it is not chunk loaded, unfortunately. So, yeah, but there, there's lots of interesting things you can do. Now I don't. Now you may think, how do I get another one of those uh, cards? And the answer to that is simply to do this command. And that will let me do basically exactly the same thing as what I just did. Uh, just carry on talking about this. Um, I guess you already have it in here. So you can see how I created it basically. Um, this is a nice combo to do it. That was actually a flower forest. Um, because I made the... Uh, the uh, so I wanted to specify the terrain as well. Now these things are all things you don't actually have to specify, so I could choose to not specify these things. Um, and in a sense that made, because the biome really what it did is just, it just sort of um, did the kind of topology of the uh, the biome, whereas I put the night slime blocks as the actual uh, ground layer, and then I had the liquid uh, was man manuelin for the sort of rivers or, you know, stuff like that. There's also a lake feature, which is something different though. Um, and from, I also did this, so uh, I'm not sure if I, how much I actually noticed it, but there were actually blocks of um, emerald orbs. And this is kind of interesting about the grammar of it, of the actual dimlets. So what I do is, say you wanted to have various different types of orbs, you just list them here. So you can see, I, by putting two in here, I've shown that that's actually a list. So I could have put more. Um, some of the sky stuff, I think, unfortunately, I may have not put the uh, fog dimlet in. Um, yeah, I think that was the one thing that I forgot to do. If you don't specify the fog dimlet, there was actually a fog in that dimension, I believe. Um, and I wanted to show some of the, some of the sky. There's actually five different sky dimlets. Um, a bit later in the video, I will try and show that a bit more clearly. Um, so that's cool. I did default mobs. There's a there's a couple of different types. There's actually uh, brutal mobs and more difficult mobs. Uh, which is something to add. There's another world type as well, uh, Lost Cities, which is also its own separate mod, I believe. Uh, and I put in some effects. If you don't put in, the thing is, if you don't put in these things, then what it will do is you probably get negative effects. Um, so as you can see, it's better to have, you know, so I just put in a couple of good ones. Um, you can also just do mob. Like the most simple thing you can create in the whole of this mod is where you just do mob, you just do effects none. So if you have an effect none, then you won't get any negative effects, and it will be, I mean, the world may not be what you want but without negative negative status of it effects are pretty brutal you can actually remove them in the uh, dimension editor and then I just put in all the they didn't all show up um, I mean uh, but yeah I've definitely seen uh, you know villages and uh, sort of mine shaft and the the stronghold is certainly there and the ocean monument is certainly there um, and the fact that we saw an ocean monument in a flower forest is something which doesn't occur naturally so that's a that's a good sign that, that all of the structures are there um, and I also set the time to fast so if I if I had uh, set up the um, the sky dimlets correctly uh, that that you know what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna set up the sky dimlets correctly just so that this world is exactly how I want it one second maybe I will just actually show show you what I'm gonna do here so I'm just gonna take a normal fog, fog dimlet Make sure we're in game mode one here. Um, then we can shift double click to get it. And then I'm going to go over to this guy, the dimension editor. I put the uh, the tab in there, and 
Now, I'm, I'm curious if it will work because I've actually got it. This is obviously what's powering it. I increased the output because creative capacitor, this block has got an input of 50,000. I increased it to 5 million because some of these very expensive ones, it does cost that. And I know that the output of capacitor bank, not just the creative one, but normal capacitor bank will be, is much higher than even the top tier conduits. So, um, either way, it's, it's, it, the only reason it was running out of power there was because um, it's not chunk loaded. But beyond that, it's, it's not, it shouldn't really be a problem. Um, so I've got this normal fog dimlet here. Okay, so that should, it should theoretically update the whole lot, right? Um, so the sky's got six dimlets, so I imagine it was on five. So we look at this one, it's got six dimlets. So it has actually updated that one as well. So let's have a look, um, see what we got here. Um, my dimension, I think the dimension should, yeah, I mean, if it's drawing that much power, it'll be fully. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Does seem to be a bit foggy. That may be the render distance, though. One of the things it may be is that it may just be that I put it on a uh, different settings here. Uh, also, that's a, that's a good point actually, because the render distance. I don't think this stuff actually shows up um, correctly. There we go. It's looking better now. So let's see if we can see a decent sky here. I can't see much at the moment, to be honest. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see some of these uh... so it may be that there's an exclusivity thing with regards to the different moons and stuff so here's what I'm gonna do the the one thing that I did consider was that it's, it may be impossible to have multiple okay so what I'm going to do this time is I'm simply going to yeah it, the thing is it's more difficult to remove stuff so I think maybe I just can't change that um, but can I actually remove stuff so for instance I went for what did I go for I went for a la body large moon so say I take a large moon, we take the same dimlet, and then I go into the uh, the editor, I put this in, uh, is this going to reduce it now down to 5? That's an interesting question, or we'll take put it up to 7. And the answer is it doesn't either. It just it just doesn't do anything. Oh, that's disappointing. That is disappointing. So yeah, there are some. Uh, hmm. And the efficiency dimlets, yeah, I just put them in as well. Now one of the other things as well that's kind of interesting to know. Oh, here we are. Interesting. So when I initially created it, you see, there's there's a, there's a few kind of. Okay, I think that should be that. I did put it on fast time as well. What do you got in daytime? It it doesn't look like it moves much. It did just move there though, didn't it? Oh wow, that is moving a huge amount. And you can see what I've got in this world anyway. It's a really cool world. Oh yeah, this is another thing to mention. Um, yeah, there's lots of different cool blocks in this mod. Like I say, I am a little bit... Uh, well, there's one way to get around that. You can also get these dimensional pattern blocks. And you can just pull dimlets from here basically. Let's uh, do it in a reasonably legit way. So this is a phase generator. If the power runs out of the dimension, um, I'll need to use that as well. Um, but you can see you get various different uh, dimlet. And what you actually do is you actually, um, you'd want to get a dimlet workbench. 
and then what you would do is you'd basically you would put it in the machine infuser i won't do it now but every, everything you basically put in here you put in the dimensional shards because there's dimensional shard or and then you would um you can do this and then you would press extract and you can see but because it's not in because it's not a um well, actually, sorry, they are the Diblet parts, aren't they? Yeah, that's the th that's another that's the thing to mention. Yeah, there's the parts, and the actual Diblets themselves. So these are like the parts. So the only things you can extract are the actual Diblets themselves, like this guy. And you can see what just happened there. Um, we're using the phase generator at the moment, so you can see it's draining power. And you can see that the uh, the creatures, um, you can actually uh, change the radius of effect to this, but it's quite a cool effect. And you can see I'm very uh, I'm losing uh, sort of various power stuff, but that's cool. Let's try and put a large planet in because interestingly, um, what I think actually happened is that. This this is just quite an interesting thing, isn't it, with regards to the sky and the time and stuff. Is that because I put in too many dimlets at the beginning, it didn't work. But so what it, I guess the what I'm trying to say is that if I wanted to have a large planet now, it's not even though I've uh, you know and this and this is just is I mean realistically this is this is like a I didn't want to do that. Um, if 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 you want to put in a large planet afterwards, which you may want to do, right? Um, you know, I mean, I probably would if I, you know, I mean, I am doing it. So, what I can tell is that this is, let's just put in some more. Um, so, I put in a large moon, I'm going to put in a large sun as well, right? Put in a large sun, why not? See, these are things I've already put in, and I'm certain I did. It's not increasing the uh, anything by much, but this is just a good way to sort of adapt the dimension. Uh, just give this a little charge. It won't make much difference, to be honest. You see, the good thing is because the output of these, this is so high, this is immediately on maximum. So even though I'm hugely draining it. Uh, oh yeah, if you don't want to drain it, you notice it's actually already, it's it's still draining. Uh, if you don't want to drain it, uh, well, there's two things to mention, right? If you, if you, if you want to drain it, um, yeah, let's have a... Oh, yeah, there we go. See, I knew that was going to work. Um, so you've got, like, uh, there's the energy extractor. So you can see extract energy. So you can actually extract energy out of the uh, dimension. Um, and there's the activity probe, which if you're not in the dimension, this is about chunk loading stuff. It won't keep on draining power, this guy. Um, so that's cool. But you can really see, like... Uh, what a cool dimension it is to have like ocean monuments and diamonds and these night slime blocks as the ground layer and you can kind of see how it is a flower forest as well uh if you've been uh yeah it's pretty cool you see flower forest has got some sort of plains type stuff but it's got v and you can see this is just what the dimensions look like they've just got these cool like houses and stuff and uh yeah, if we look at. I just want to look at the. Um, uh, yeah, and oh yeah, that's the thing to mention. There, are these all these these absorber blocks. Uh, without going too much, you basically put you know you put it in the right biome, you put the right liquid under it, uh, in the right terrain, you put it on the right feature. Um, these, I'm not sure what they do. Obviously, they they. They spell stuff backwards, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, these pattern blocks don't believe actually used for much. Uh, you can actually make them just out of uh, dimensional black uh, blank blocks as well, which is cool. Um, uh, yeah, and you can make these. Uh, and and the, for the efficiency, the reason why, like, uh, to make it, the thing is the creation cost isn't affected by efficiency, so you may be waiting a long time. 
dim, digit dimlets to change. Uh, you can have the same dimlets, but uh, that will just give you an, a different dimension because otherwise it'd be the same one. Um, okay, so yeah, so I mean, and that's pretty much that's pretty much. I really should have done chunk loading, um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool mod, and there's a lot of interesting stuff you can do. Um, I do think though that actually increasing the amount of power that you can get in here is quite useful because I can go straight back there now just all because I increased that config number uh, and there is a lot of stuff in the config and there's a lot of stuff in so you can see I've actually got regular ones as well So that's pretty cool to have that. And if we go into game mode three, I can just go. I can go around a little bit underground as well. Perhaps we can see if we can get decent loading times. You can see. Look at this. I mean, it's crazy. The world gen really. Uh, it's really good underground world gen, and um, yeah. Lots of cool stuff to check out, and this is a yeah. It's just a it's just a really fun mod, I guess. Um, it is pretty late game. A lot of the stuff does cost a lot. Um, oh, here we are. I haven't seen one of these yet. So, but yeah, but to have a world like this, which has got all the different um, this this I think is actually quite an interesting use case to have a world which has got. Um, Kind of all the different structures in it is useful, um, but what it really means is that if you find all the different structures in the world, you can absorb them, and then you can start adding them to the world. Um, and I just want to talk finally. I just want to look at the Dimlet workbench and just and just mention any sort of um, uh, Dimlets that perhaps of of interest here. So you kind of there is a mining biome dimmer which is cool. Um, you can obviously use any liquid like I used uh, manuelin. Um, your base block can be whatever you like. Uh, you can have all the different. Often what you'll find is that many of these different entities uh, and the mobs um, from additional mods that you've got um, will be there. And then again, you can alter things in the dimension editor. Uh, yeah, we're running out of energy again. Huge orbs, no dimlet. All sorts of interesting stuff. There's special dimlets as well. Peaceful, um, efficiency, cheating, all sorts of cool stuff. Um, but yeah, this is a, it's such a cool effect though. Like, um, yeah, just to have this sort of slowness effect. Really, really cool. This is actually an igloo, isn't it? All right. <laughs> yeah, don't find one of these too often. I wonder if it's got the. Uh... It does. That's cool. All right then. Well, I guess I will say. Thanks for watching.